Hi, welcome to this Cobra Maps primary video on similar shapes. In this video, we're going to look at what similar shapes are, and we're going to look at how to answer some typical questions on them. So here we've got two shapes that are similar, and what similar means in Mavs is that one is an enlargement of the other. So rectangle B is an enlargement of rectangle A. And that means that the sides have been maybe doubled or trebled, multiplied by two or multiplied by three or multiplied by a certain number, and they've got that many times bigger, and all the angles have stayed the same. So as you can see, all the angles are right angles, but the length is two times larger for rectangle B than in rectangle A, and the width is two times larger. So let's have a look at some questions now. So here we've got two rectangles, and they are similar to each other. So that means that one is an enlargement of the other. And the question has asked us to find this measurement here, the length of rectangle B. So if we look at the widths, we can see that the width of rectangle A is three centimeters, and the uh, width of rectangle B is nine centimeters. That is three times larger. The width has been multiplied by three. That means the length will also be multiplied by three. It means that it will also be three times larger. They have to be multiplied by the same number. So eight times three is 24. So that means that the length of this rectangle would be 24 centimeters. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So this time we've got rectangle A and rectangle B. Again, they're similar, and we've been asked to find the length of rectangle A. Now this time, as you can see, it's two centimeters for the width of rectangle A and eight centimeters for the width of rectangle B. And that's four times larger. So that means that rectangle B has been enlarged by scale factor four. In other words, the lengths of rectangle B and the width of rectangle B are four times larger. So that means that this length has been multiplied by four to get 20. Well, obviously 20 divided by four is five. So that means that the length of rectangle A is five centimeters. Okay, our next question. Now, we're going to be looking at some right angle triangle, or two triangles here, right angle triangles, just to show you that it's not always rectangles. Now, as you can see, the height of this triangle, the smaller one, is three centimeters, and the height of the larger one is six centimeters. That's two times larger. And if you look at the diagonal here, this diagonal is five centimeters, and this diagonal here is five centimeters, and that's two times larger also. That means that the bottom, the base of it, is also going to be two times larger. So four times two, would be eight centimeters.